this problem, let's interpret some back-to-back -back stem leaf plots. So just as a reminder, what a stem leaf plot is representing is a root and sort of a leaf. Well, a stem and a leaf, for lack of a better uh, idea. So when you see a number like in this 18 row, you see the number 2 here for weekend. What that symbolizes is a root or a stem of 1 8 and a leaf of 2. So it represents the number 182. Essentially, it's a way to compensate without having to, or to write down a bunch of numbers in the 180s without having to write out each one individually. So it kind of saves space and time and makes it a little bit easier to see some shapes. So this particular problem is about, or this uh, graph is money spent for parking fees on either the weekday or the weekend. And for ease here, I'm going to start from the bottom up. We're going to answer three questions. The highest median, the most the, the most values in the 170s, and then the ranges of both of the groups. So let's do the ranges first, and we'll do the ranges for the weekend first. So in order to find the ranges for the weekend, we would need to find the maximum value and the minimum value and find the difference between those. So looking at the weekend half of the picture over here, we can see that the highest value is in the 190s and the highest digit in its leaves is a 9. So the maximum for the weekend is this digit right here representing 199. For its minimum, we go over here and we can see that the lowest stem is 150s with a digit or a leaf of 9. So this number right here would represent a minimum of 159 and therefore the range is 40. That's the range for the weekend. On the other hand, for the weekdays, the highest value is also in the 190s, but it's not 196, it's 197. That would be the highest value there. And for the low end, go up into the 150s, and there's a 151 and a 156, so of those, 151 is lower. So you get 151 as our low end. 197 minus 151 would be 46. So the range for the weekdays is 46. Next, which one has the most values in the 170s? So remember, the 170s would be the stem of the 17. So for the weekend, you can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4 values in the 170s. Whereas for the weekdays, you can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 values in the 170s. So which one has the most values in the 170s? That would be the left-hand side, which is the week day. Yes. Okay, final question. Which one has the highest median? The highest median would mean the value that's in the middle. So we're going to just start canceling out high values and low values until we get towards the middle. So for the week end, on the week end, I'm going to cancel out the low 9, the high 9, the low 2, the high 2, the low 3, the high 1, 4, 7, 7, 2, 9, 2, 0, 9. And it looks like we have to get halfway in between 173 and 177. Halfway between 173 and 177 would be 175. So the median on the weekend half is 175. For the weekdays, high, low, high, low, high, low high, low, high, low, high, 182, low, high, low, high, low. Those ones canceled out very nicely to leave me just one value in the middle. So the one value is the median, which over there would be 177. So it looks like the week day also has the highest median, because 177 is higher than 175. Okay. So, assuming that that makes sense, re-watch the video here and see it again. Take a moment out and see if you can try this one on your own. So after you've reviewed this, go over and try to do this problem on your own. Pause the video, try it, 
And assuming you took a good shot here and tried it out on your own, I'm going to do it again just so you can see the worked out example and check to see if you did it correctly. This graph is about money spent in a store. Store A is on the left, store B is on the right. The value of 1 right here with the stem of 3 would mean that that would correspond to sort of a value at store A of 31, right? Because the 3 is the stem and the 1 is the leaf. And so if we go down and try to find the actual ranges of these stores, we're going to have to look at maximum minus minimum. So for store B, the highest value here would be 38. The lowest value here would be stem of 0, value of 5, so that's just the number 5, giving us a range of 33. For store A, the highest value is the 32, and the lowest value down here is the 05, or 5 again. So the range for that store, hopefully you got 27. Which one has the most in the 10 to 19 range? Well, that would have a stem of 1, of course, right? So we're looking at this row right here, and we can see that store A has 1, 2, 3, 4, five values in that range, and store B has one, two, three, four, oh, they also have five. So the most in the 10 to 19 range is actually the same between the two stores. They both have five values in the 10 to 19 range. And finally, for the median, that's where we have to cancel out from top to bottom and find out what values in the absolute middle. So we'll go top, bottom, the store B's, top, bottom, 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 giving me the 2, which indicates a 22. So the median over here is 22. And on the left, for store A, we have a highest value of 32, and the lowest of 5. So top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, and it looks like we have to get halfway between 22 and 21, and of course halfway between uh, 22 and 21 would be 21.5, just add them together and divide by 2. But at any rate, it looks like store B has the highest median, so the answer here would be store B.